So then guys, a big question that you guys are wanting to know is what about Apple glasses? Are they going to be coming out in 2026? Will we have a release for them? And what will the price potentially be? And what kind of features are we expected to get with them? Well, today, I want to tell you everything we know about Apple's AI glasses or Apple intelligence glasses, what they're looking to introduce. And to be honest, they could be coming out a lot sooner than you would actually realize. So to begin with, we've had this leak in right here from Mark Gurman, where he has said that Apple are still exploring the creation of Apple glasses out there. Hey everyone this is your host Zahid and welcome to my channel ZDES Tech. This is something that's going to be a little bit different to what we get with, say, the Vision Pro right now. What is more likely is going to be the case if Apple introduced their version of, say, Apple Glasses, is that would most likely have Apple intelligence abilities built into them. So what we could essentially do is ask questions about what we are looking at. More than likely, there will be cameras on the front of the actual sort of spectacles, as it were, checking out the environment where you are. But then at the same time, too, what would also get is kind of like a heads-up display actually reflecting on the glass, giving us information. So say if you were standing outside a restaurant and you wanted to know what the menu was, you could simply ask the glasses or via Apple intelligence, you know, what is the menu for this restaurant here? And then what it would do is it would display that in the heads-up sort of display, telling you exactly what kind of foods there are. And also you could ask it things about allergies and things like this, too. And then also, if it wasn't, say, the right restaurant for you, you could also ask it, is there a similar restaurant to this nearby? And then what would happen is you'd get, say, turn-by-turn -turn sort of navigation on your glasses and you could walk down the road to actually get to that new different type of restaurant. You can imagine the kind of possibilities out there. More than likely, these Apple glasses, they will have their own kind of chip inside of them, too. And we've been hearing that Apple have also been looking to create this chip and ramping up in this kind of area, as you can see right here. But then also, we've also been hearing that it could also be paired up to, say, an iPhone. And this would also make a lot of sense also to pair it up to an iPhone that you could actually Bluetooth it and then use, say, Apple intelligence capabilities from your actual iPhone to actually do most of these tasks. So this is really, really exciting stuff to actually hear about. Now, there are loads of other kind of manufacturers out there who are looking to make glasses right now. And I think this is one reason why Apple wants to jump on it. You know, we've heard of, you know, Google's XR kind of sort of projects where they're working with lots of different kind of companies out there to bring out their version of sort of AI glasses. There's also Meta as well. Obviously, we saw an introduction to some sort of sort of prototypes of their kind of sort of Meta glasses out there coming out in the future. And obviously, we saw Mark Zuckerberg talk about them. So you can see that Apple wants to definitely jump on this. And in fact, we can actually see right here that we've even heard that the likes of Tim Cook is hell-bent on getting out his Apple glasses before the likes of, say, the meta kind of glasses, those meta bands out there, you know, the new versions from, you know, Mark Zuckerberg's empire of meta. So, yeah, they're really, really keen in bringing these out. Now, one thing that I am going to say with these new kind of glasses are probably going to be not like, they're not going to be probably, say, a new version of the Vision Pro, where you completely submerge yourself, completely into an environment. Like I did say, you'd still be looking outside of the glasses, like normally, and things like this. It'd just be like a LiDAR sensor actually being reflected onto the glass. And then, you know, you'd actually also have here kind of a heads-up display too. This is more than likely what we are going to be getting. And I am going to tell you this now. It is more than likely that Apple would also bring out these glasses that would also be available in prescriptions. So for anybody out there who actually wears glasses right now, the great thing is that you'd just be able to change out the lens and get them swapped into the right ones for you. And then obviously what would happen is that heads-up display would kind of sort of bounce onto the actual sort of glass. So you could actually see everything just like everybody else there and how these glasses are intentionally meant to be. So this is really, really exciting to see that Apple are looking to create these. So then moving on now, what about the release date and the price of these new Apple glasses? Well, the good news is, I'm going to tell you, these are going to be coming a lot sooner than we initially thought. We've been wanting these Apple glasses for ages and I for one have been wanting them to test out. And the great thing is that it looks like 2025 is the year to start these kind of AI glasses getting really, really smart and kind of the glasses that we've been wanting for a long time. So the great news is we've heard from Bloomsburg, from Mark Gurman, 
he's actually said that the new Apple glasses are set for a end of 2026, so we're just talking just over a year away from now. And this, to be honest, does make a lot of sense. Obviously, like I said, the likes of say with Google, with Android XR, you know, that is on the way now. That's going to be coming out very soon. We've got Meta, they're pushing out there. Obviously, Apple needs to jump on this super quickly. They cannot do like they did with the Vision Pro and be one of the last people to jump on this. So this is super exciting to hear that this is going to be coming out probably the end of 2026. But then the next big question is, what about the price of these glasses? Because obviously, I think the Vision Pro, this was a massive blow on how much it was going to charge, you know, our wallets and how much it was for even the baseline version. Well, I personally think it is going to be a lot less because obviously, it's just a heads-up display this time. Obviously, we might have that sort of Bluetooth connection between the glasses to your phone. So this is, you know, a lot of those kind of chips and abilities are all being put and reliant on your phone. So this is going to be a lot better what we're going to be getting there. So personally, I think the pricing, we're going to have to wait to exactly see what the say the new Meta Glass and Android XRs are going to be. But at the moment, we can actually look at the current say Ray-Ban kind of glasses from Meta. You know, you can pick those up now for $250 for those glasses. Obviously, they don't have LiDAR or things like this. But obviously, you know, we're going to get those kind of LiDAR sensors, we're going to get things like the heads-up display, and we're going to get those kind of sort of abilities now built into say Meta. So I think, you know, those kind of glasses are going to go up a fair bit there, probably more like $600, $700. So personally, I think if Apple were to introduce this, they're probably going to be matching a kind of similar pricing. I'm going to say it's going to be upwards of $600. That obviously is my pure guess. But what I would be saying is keep an eye on what Android are going to be doing with the XR and what Meta are going to do for their pricing. Until that's officially confirmed, you know, I am going to say I can't confirm officially what the prices will be. But I'm going to say I'm looking towards north of that kind of price range there. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But on that note, then are you excited for some new Apple glasses? Are you going to get yourself a pair when they do come out? Is this something that interests you? Well, let me know in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video too. So if you have enjoyed watching it, make sure you press the like button. As always, you can hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.